hard if you close your eyes. Hi again guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be giving you a nursery tour of my daughter Jocelyn's nursery. She just turned 18 months old yesterday and we had infertility issues so um, it took us three years to conceive her and um, I can do a separate video on that um, but she was very long awaited. I found out I was pregnant and we, I, I, we started putting her nursery together at like 14 weeks. Like I ordered her crib. Like as soon as I, the doc told me, my midwife told me it was safe, I started ordering um, all of her accessories. And I, it's my favorite room in the house, obviously. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and I will be posting all of the links down below in the description box of where I purchased the items from. Her crib, um, her furniture, all that. Uh, most of it is from Amazon, and I will be taking you along with me, obviously. Okay, so you walk in, and first you see the little rocking horse. Um, I, this was a gift from Jocelyn's papa, my dad. They drove all the way to Orange County to pick it up, um, and she loves it. She comes in here, she gets in it by herself. It's so precious. So here's her rug. Crib, we decided on going with white and the mattress is organic itself um, the wallpaper is from walls of need love and it's actually a sticker my husband put that up we got her little camera there in the corner her rocking chair Wipe warmer, don't believe what they tell you, this is definitely necessary and we love it. Her noise machine, she could not sleep without it. In the top drawer, um, we have bows. I got this also from the Amazon organization. Obviously it doesn't look the most organized. She's been alive for 18 months. Um, moms, you know that is. In the other drawer we have her diapers. Um, all my favorite, um, all her favorite creams, birth cloths, because I refuse to believe that she's not a baby. And then here's her closet, her bows, sleep sacks, again, Amazon. <laughs> if you're wondering if I ever leave my house, I don't, I just order everything from Amazon. And then here's her closet. So we've got all of her clothes here hung up. I opted for the no fold method. Here's most of her clothes. And then I've got blankets here in the corner. Um, her carrier, her baby books. Let's get that I keep her baby books in. Um, I highly recommend if you're a new mom purchasing Grove Book. It's a monthly subscription. It's like $2.99 a month and every month I would just order um, photos of her that I had on my phone just to get them off my phone in fear of like my phone crashing and me losing them and I have them all labeled here from zero to one one to two two to three etc etc highly highly suggest that um, I did her first year and then it was really easy for me to strip out the pages and then put them inside of her baby book book is so cute you just write a bunch of fun facts that month of their development how is this child so precious okay a quick filming break because i don't know filming today's video has me like stressed um tony just got home from the grocery store with um food obviously like what 
I'm just tiring. What else? Tony, come here. People like it when you make an appearance. Yes. How are you feeling today? <laughs> Stressed. I need to get to work. You got me doing all these errands. The one time I asked him to go grocery shopping. Bull. Spit. Jojo. <gasps> she was a good helper though. You were a good helper with daddy? He's that girl. Whoa. Puffs. Oh. <laughs> Do you love puffs? Why are you so sweet? Why are you so smart? Outside, that's right. I just don't know if like a sit down video is gonna be for me because that just was like stressing me out. Thoughts? Maybe I'm more of a vlog girl. Like the formal remembering information, presenting it. I don't know. It's too much, I agree. I hate the sound of people chewing, but I'm chewing on camera. Do you know there's a thing called ASMR? People actually what? like to hear. Are you mukbanging again? <laughs> yeah, this is another mukbang with yours truly. Um, ASMR, it's a thing, like, look it up. The toast is done. What? The toast is done. Mm. Uh, amazing. Tell them what it is. <laughs> this is supposed to be a sit down of my daughter's nursery and now you're just like in the kitchen with us. See, this is not like more natural for we me. We get off track. These are made from peas and not corn. And these are vegan. Gluten free, oh crap. Wait. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> We're oh. not gluten free at all. No yes. MSG. Now Bring they, on the gluten, honey! But they have a nacho cheese flavor that's not vegan. It's weird. I thought this company was vegan, but it's not. So it's, did you say it's supposed to be like vegan hot Cheetos? Oh, vegan hot Cheetos. That's the whole yeah. thing, right? Like that's why it's... But they're just smaller. Like I wish they were bigger. You know like, what the best way to eat the these are? The camera makes it look big, but it's they're skinnier. Well, the know? camera adds 10 pounds, obviously. There you go, see? Okay, so the best way to eat those is with lemon and cheese. my nacho cheese video. Link down below. Go check it out. It's so bomb. No one can see your face. Are you trying to think of something cute to say? No, well, I'm just showing how I... How do you... How <laughs> you... How I dry my hands off. Oh. Did you put lemon on this already? Mm. Cheers. Here. Also on Amazon, these little separation dividers. Really enjoy that. On top, I've got more baskets. Just a bunch of other miscellaneous things, a diffuser. Um, and then her shoe rack. Again, Amazon, her diapers. And then we all have that part of the closet, right? This is one of my favorite pieces in her room. This was off of Etsy. So fun fact about that floral baby mobile. Um, when I was pregnant, I was like, I'm gonna be that mom who just goes to the store and buys a bunch of items and crafts her way through life. And <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> um, I went to Michael's and I purchased all the products that I needed in order to make it. And it was going to be double the amount twice the work and it probably wouldn't have come out half as good. Um, so let's just keep it real. I'm not that crafty mom, um, but I'm definitely happy with how it came out. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you feel special because I very, very rarely open up these blinds. Uh, we bought um, curtain darkeners. What are they called, Jesus? Am I really gonna do this right now? What is it called? At least I look good in this light. Do I have to look this up on the internet? Uh, 
Um, so we bought blackout curtains and I hope you feel special because I rarely ever open up this window. Little note, if you're struggling with infertility, trust me, I know it's one of the most lonely processes I've ever gone through in my life. No one really understands other than the two people going through it. Um, so you are not alone if you are struggling with that right now. I know, just trust the process one minute at a time. And obviously that is so much easier said than done. Everyone would tell me that I would just be like, you don't even know. Like, how can you forget about something that you want so badly? Um, but I will say the minute I handed it over to my higher power and I was just like, what, like whatever's meant to happen is going to happen. Um, it did end up working out. But again, I will get into that in another video if you guys want to see um, an infertility video and my struggles and how we um, came to be get pregnant. And the girl behind it all. Hi, baby. Ball. Ball. Oh. You're strong. So thanks so much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.